Today we'll be using Excel for implementing program evaluation and review technique or PERT in projects. In a previous video, we discussed how to calculate Z-scores and associated probabilities using the table of standard normal distribution. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now we want to implement the program evaluation and review technique or PERT in Excel. We can use Excel's standardized function to find Z-scores and norm.s.this function to find probability of project completion at desired points in time. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's start with a small project with 8 activities for which dependencies or predecessors are specified. For each activity, optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic times have been provided. We can follow only 4 simple steps to implement PERT in Excel. Step 1 is to calculate activity expected times or TE and total expected time for our project. We start with activity A to find its expected time or TE using this formula. First we click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then in parentheses we add optimistic time plus 4 times most likely time plus pessimistic time. Finally the sum is divided by 6 to find the expected time for activity A. The formula is then duplicated for the rest of project activities to find TE for all. We should then go ahead and draw the CPM network based on the precedence logic. For all activities, the expected time or TE will be the duration. As described in previous videos, forward pass is used to find project duration. For this project, total expected time or mean completion time is equal to 70 days. Then backward pass identifies the chain of critical activities which are A, B, F, G, H. A schematic view of the network can be seen on the right side of the screen. This concludes the first step in implementing PERT in Excel. Step 2 is to calculate a standard deviation of activities or sigma E and a standard deviation of the project. We start with activity A to find its standard deviation or sigma E by using the formula below our CPM. First we click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then in parentheses we enter pessimistic time minus optimistic time. Finally the result is divided by 6 to find the standard deviation for activity A, which shows how spread is the duration range around its most likely value. The formula is duplicated for the rest of project activities to find sigma E for all. We should then go ahead and find the standard deviation of the project or sigma using the second formula below our CPM. Sigma is calculated using a standard deviation of critical activities, which are A, B, F, G, H in this project. First, we click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then use the square root function and in parentheses, we add up a square of standard deviations for critical activities. The standard deviation of 4.773 indicates the amount of variability or spread around the mean completion time of 70 days in our project. This concludes the second step in implementing the program evaluation and review technique or PERT in Excel. Step 3 is scenario analysis to find probability of project completion times which are longer or shorter than the total expected time of our project. So far we know that our project has a mean completion time of 70 days. But we may want to know the chance of completing the project earlier for example by day 69 or later for example by day 75. Using the formula below our CPM first we calculate the z-score for each scenario which is a normalized value that subtracts the mean and divides by the standard deviation. We should click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then in parentheses we select project schedule date or TS of 69 days minus total expected time of 70 days. Finally the result is divided by a standard deviation of 4.773. Alternatively we can calculate the z-score using a standardized function of Excel which needs three inputs of project schedule date or TS, total expected time or TE and project standard deviation or sigma. The formula is then duplicated for other scenarios. We should note that a negative z-score indicates a probability of less than 50%, which is the case for finishing the project sooner than the total expected time of 70 days. Associated probabilities for each scenario are calculated using the norm.s.this function of Excel, which accepts the z-score and a binary value of true to consider the cumulative distribution function or CDF. The formula is then duplicated for other scenarios. Understandably, the chance of completing the project by day 75 is more than 50%. This concludes the third step in implementing PERT in Excel. Step 4 is scenario analysis to find project completion times for desired confidence intervals. 
Now we can consider various confidence levels such as 90% and find the associated project completion time based on Z-score calculations. For a high confidence level of 90%, we will obviously have a longer duration than the total expected time of 70 days. We can calculate the Z-score using norm.s.inverse function of Excel, which needs the required confidence level as its only input. Then using our Z-statistics formula on the right, we can calculate project time schedule or TS which is associated with 90% confidence. First, we click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Then we multiply Z-score by project standard deviation. Finally, the result is added to the total expected time of 70 days to find the TS. The value of 76.1 days corresponds to 90% confidence here. The formula are then duplicated for other scenarios of P95, P99, and P99.9 to find associated project durations. We can appreciate the increase in completion times when a higher confidence is desired. This concludes the last step in implementing PERT in Excel. And there you have it, an easy implementation of the program evaluation and review technique using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.